Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So with the introduction of remote control, I thought today I would show you how I've been making my remote control missiles. So first off, this is the basic missile design, and what we've got here is a number of thrusters. We haven't got a thruster on the front. We've replaced that with an antenna so we can pick up the signal. We've also boosted the antenna's frequency to maximum so we can pick it up. The only things that are really going to be that important is this rear thruster and the thruster in the middle. Now, these thrusters are just used for stabilization, so you can actually get them straight turns and it will level back out on its playing field, so you can actually direct it straight towards a target. Now, let's connect these things up. So, first of all, we're going to have to look for that missile. And what you'll notice is that, first of all, we access that panel and we'll have the platform, but we have nothing else connected. And the reason that it's not connected is because we need to go to here, we need to access this, and we need to turn it so we are now the owners of this actual thing. So we need to select missile and select us as the owners of the missile and the antenna. So you must be the owner of that antenna for this to work. Now, if we head back over, we need to be able to connect up to that ship. So now we can connect up to small ship 1073. That's the missile. Now, we notice that we're going to have a number of controls. So first off, we have the gyroscope. You're going to be able to see the missile spinning in the background. So we're going to override that. And we're going to use this. And we're going to basically allow the missile to spin. So you can see that the missile is actually spinning up. And we're going to use that function to turn. And I'll show you how to make different sorts of turns with that missile. So first off, we're going to have to switch back over to the small ship. And now to make us a, a quick turn, we access the gyroscope. And we're going to reset this back down to zero. So a quick hit of zero on the key will actually have that stop in its place. So that's uh, that'll allow us to get that back on a straight path. And now to turn right, what we do is a simple jitter right, straight to the right like so. And to get to turn left, we're going to move it the opposite way like so. And we can see how the thruster's rotating. And when that's combined with the form of momentum of the small thruster, will allow us to do some quite interesting moves and actually bring that rocket back towards the target. So this is a variant of the Hammerhead Interceptor that you've not seen before. This is actually the version with the guided torpedoes. We've got two underslung in landing gear sort of mounts and I've got my missile operator here and he's going to basically allow us to guide some missiles very accurately onto them targets down there. Now, we're aiming at the left target with the actual body of the ship, and we're not going to move the ship for this test, but we'll show you moving the ship a little bit later on. So we're going to be aiming at the left target, but we're going to correct the shot over to the right target. So I'm going to hop aboard. We're going to guide it over to the right target and take out our person in the individual in the middle. So we're going to launch this first. We're going to drop the missile down. If we were moving, of course, we'd have the inertia dampeners off. Once the missile has dropped, we can engage the thrusters on it. Engage the thrusters, please. Powering missile. And now we can actually power the thrusters to maximum speed. Rear thrust activated. And I'm going to hop out of the cockpit just to view this. But originally, you could actually view this from inside. So if we begin turning it right, please. Right. And hold, of course. And a little bit more right. Tad more right. Tad right. And we can bring it pretty much into the target. We've, we've actually missed our culprit in the middle, who's sitting there quite happily. And he's, I think he's rather happy that he's not actually been hit. But apart from that, that's pretty good. And we just need to arm these up with a little bit more explosive firepower. And we'd have a serious sort of situation on our hands. But the ability to actually guide these weapons is extremely useful. So what we're going to do for this next test is we're going to actually fire the missile and miss the target. And then we're going to bring it back around and try to hit one of these targets that we're actually in line with. So first of all, we're going to launch this missile away. We're going to actually drop it out by hitting our little key there. It's really sliding gear. Now, once the missile is, we can thrust off. We can activate the actual thrusters on the missile. And Elf. if we power that up to 50%, we should, be, we should be able to get that missile heading a little bit further past us and heading towards the target like so. Now, the importance of this is we're going to increase the speed of the missile to 75. And we're going to actually head past the target with this missile. The missile is quite, going quite slow at the moment, but it'll increase over time. And now we're going to bring it for a sharp left and we're going to hold it. I'm going to hold that left turn. So the missile should start to turn with us. Keep it in our left side. The missile's turning. And it's going to be coming back around. So the missile's turning and coming back around now. And now hold that left a little bit stronger. 
and that's absolutely perfect. So we're heading back towards the target area in a nice circle. Now release that circle that we were holding back to straight. And we're going to try to come up from the target behind. Now hold that right, hold a right. Hold a right, hard right we want. We're going to be coming through some asteroids by the look of it. We want to avoid them. Absolutely perfect. And hold that at zero. And we're heading straight towards that target. Now it's only a matter of if we miss it. And we missed it by a few centimeters. So let's do a hard spin and try to get this going 360 this missile. Now this is going to be very hard to do. So we're holding the spin on the missile. And what we can actually do is even recover the missile at this stage. But if we release that back to zero, set the spin to zero on the missile. We can actually continue it on back towards the tank. Now just ever so slightly to the left please. And bring the speed up a little bit slightly. And hold at zero, please. And now we're heading straight towards the target. And a little bit of a right adjustment would be great. A bit more of a right. And we're straight in to the target zone. Absolutely beautiful. We managed to weave that around, do a little bit of a spin, and we managed to take out one of the targets. Thought I'd put a little bit of a scenario together just to show you how you could use this sort of missile. Now imagine a heavily armed base that detects ships from quite a far distance away and then lock themselves away and be ready to defend themselves. Now if you release this missile from range and guided it in via either a spotter or someone from a ship very far away, you can actually guide this missile maybe right in through a window or a door and cause some serious damage to that ship or even a station in this case. So I'm gonna do this, cripple the doors and destroy the whole station. Now, I always think it's rather fun to build booby trap sort of ships. Ships where the enemy think they're getting a good sort of deal out of it. Maybe they're getting a free ship or they're getting something that they can grind down for parts, but really they take him back to their base a massive bomb. So in this thing, there is a high number of explosives, warheads full from head to brim all inside. And the idea is that this is going to be a remote controlled bomb. So they're going to take this back to the base going, oh, we've got a free ship. And then the next minute, they're going to detonate it. But let's see what we can actually do with it ourselves. So you'd activate your ejector seat really simply by hitting your merge block. And the cockpit would pop off like so. And then you would activate your thrusters and it would repel you away from the ship. Now you've left that ship there, you wait for your enemy to come and pick out it and maybe try to scavenge some parts and then you detonate it and the whole thing should go up in a nice boom. The only problem is you have to make sure your antennas are, have a reliable connection and there you go, your ship is completely crippled and more importantly if you do something like this sort of a Trojan horse tactic it might, it might be quite interesting. Now imagine this scenario, someone's found your ship and they've decided to take it back to your base and you find out about this because your antenna is signaling that your ship's going somewhere it shouldn't be going. So you sit back there with the control panel and you're ready to detonate the thing as soon as it goes inside. Now you let it of course pass through all their security, maybe through their doors, maybe through their docks or maybe you even let a large crowd form around it. And then all it takes is a little bit of patience and detonating at the right time and you're gonna bag yourself a whole lot of revenge in a very nice explosive package. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.